Uh, today I'd like to talk about how I use the Papilio Pro FPGA card to um, build a custom floppy disk um, capture card. And uh, in the past when I've had to do things like this, they've used a cat weasel. Um, that wouldn't work in this case, the format is so weird. It's from a, a Happy Color 2 computer. Um, and I've got a box of about 250 to capture, 250 disks. Um, I also looked at the uh, Cryoflux and um, I actually bought one, but it would have required building an adapter card. So I thought, well, as long as I'm going to build an adapter card, why not just, you know, make my own? So here we are. This is the internal floppy disk drive from a, um, a Copy Color 2 computer. And um, these guys use their own custom logic here. You know, they just bought the mechanism from Siemens and then put their own um, logic on it. And then that goes over to a breadboard where you just have some voltage translators to convert the 3.3 volt um, FPGA logic to the 5 volt uh, logic that the floppy expects. And then here is the Papilio Pro board right there um, going off to USB. Here's a shot of the underside of the um, floppy. I want to show what it looks like when it's actually operating. Um, so the first thing to do is to send the head to track zero. And then with manual commands I could step to a particular track like step to track five, and step to track ten, step back to track zero. Um, and this is what it looks like during capture. Each tick is it reading, decoding one track, and um, stepping to the next. Uh, I'm going to show the um, Python uh, interface shell that I, I wrote to communicate with this board via the um, virtual serial port on the USB. And um, I fire up the, the Python script. And it's got a basically like two levels of commands. One for doing low-level things like uh, twiddling config registers, uh, reading and writing and testing memory, um, and then the higher level commands for capturing data from the disk, inspecting sectors, uh, checking disk integrity, displaying files that are on the disk, things like that. So I'll show some of those off right now. Um, I can say, uh, I'll just go right to the higher level ones. So, you know, capture disk. Um, this particular uh, copy color disk format has 40 tracks per side, and there's only one side. And so it takes um, about half a minute to capture one disk. Um, right now, there are no errors, it's just clicking off the tracks, no problem. Um, if there were errors, it would attempt retries and things like that. So, right now, it says all tracks were captured properly. So, I can do something like dir directory, and this is a list of files on the disk. I can do disk integrity check, so it's okay. I can um, list the menu.basic program, and there it is, or list 12p5.base, and here's a you know, basic program that was on the disk. Um, then when I'm, if I'm happy with it, um, I can save it to a disk image. Um, some later point I can load it back in and I can also do things like compare two disks to see if there are files in common or if there are differences I can do a diff between the two to see what's different about them. Um, if during the read of the disk there were errors I would have uh, been able to go back and ask it to retry on just the failing um, tracks or uh, inspect to see what's going wrong with particular sectors. Uh, one other thing I'd like to point out is um, I took my little prototype uh, on the breadboard and learned um, over the course of two weeks enough of KiCad to uh, enter the schematic and then uh, create a um, two-layer uh, PC board with you know, all-through-hole construction. Um, I haven't gotten it back yet, but I was pretty stunned um, to get pricing on it. The thing's about three and a half inches on a side and I could get um, 10 boards made for um, 30 bucks including shipping.
one of the features of this printed circuit board is it actually has connectors for a standard 34 pin interface and a 50 pin interface for 8 inch disk drives. Um, my intention in the long term is to generalize the software to allow it to capture other disk formats, not just that of the, the CompuColor 2.